That's the loveliest thing I've ever heard. How's it going with the online dating there? Man, it's interesting. After about five seconds, you notice how everything on here is so contrary to how women are portrayed in the media. Everyone's just like, fuck it. I want sex every day. I want to see Pearl Jam in 30 countries. And then I want a joint. And here's a selfie of me on top of a fucking mountain. I'm building a whole stand-up routine about it, actually. So I finally found a video game with really well-rounded female characters. It's called OK Cupid. Or something. I took a selfie on top of a really fat guy once. And yeah, you know me, uh, I really want to write shit that says something about what it's like to actually be a person. And yeah, I'm learning a lot from these women. They're never what you think. You mean we're never what you think? Holy shit, please tell me you haven't thought I was a guy with a high voice this whole time. Sorry, I know. I just think of you as you, you know. No, and that's cool. I don't like to play the vag card, but I know you think research and empathy is the key to understanding others, but... People don't always tell you everything, right? There's shit I don't even tell you, so I know for sure there's shit women in general aren't mentioning alongside their top 10 list of dad rock bands. I know you stare pretty hard, but there's still shit you don't see. Example? Fuck, have you ever messaged a chick on there and not heard back? Yeah, I keep writing these, like, genuinely smart and funny messages, but then nothing, usually. I know life isn't fair, but still, come on. Yeah, but you haven't seen the other side there, have you? Like, of the two of us, you're the raging feminist, for whatever reason. So you should probably get up to speed on how there's the chicks you see, and there's the chicks you don't, who are on the other end of all that shit that people do to chicks when nobody can see. I see. What don't I see, though? Okay, you know when you see female friends on social media and they don't use their actual name? And half the time it's innocuous, so you never really know. But then a fucking bunch of the girls I went to high school with have Facebook names like Mary Fakestein and Sue Donim because they all fucking have a violently abusive ex they're trying to not be found by. A guy that everyone thinks is great because he only savagely beats you behind closed doors. It's a thing. Yeah, wow. And then you take the guy to trial, but nobody believes you because you didn't behave in the way they think they would behave if it happened to them? Yeah, that whole thing. Don't rely on your imagination is what I'm saying. It's not that good. Like how you think I don't get street harassed because it never happens when you're with me? What? You don't though, do you? How can I explain street harassment to someone who literally still watches cartoons on Saturday morning? I guess it's like... Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. If you abuse me, honey, you'll lose me. And you'll be all alone. Oh, baby, telephone and tell me I'm your own. Shit. Sorry, that's enraging. Fuck. I always specifically hated that cartoon frog, too. They're out there. One day they'll be sex robots, but right now we have to deal with all the guys who wish there were sex robots. The shit you don't see, Ted. I know about some of the shit. I know that when it seems like a girl is flirting with me, it's often just her being nice to try and defuse the situation because I look like a murderer. Or when you enthusiastically pretend to be someone's partner to ward off unwanted attention. Because I imagine shit probably all looks totally different when you're, you know, not as strong physically. Dude, I've dated guys that could hold me down with one hand like it was fucking nothing. Someone corners you and you need to fucking nice your way out of it. Yeah, for me, the only reason I'd flirt with someone is if I was specifically interested. Whereas on the other side of that power dynamic, yeah, there are probably a whole lot of other reasons. That's why you need to be mad at the assholes. Because they ruined it for everyone. I already am mad at assholes. I at least got the memo that sexism is everyone's problem. If you're defining yourself by how you're different from a stereotypical image of women, then you're boxing yourself in just as much. Like the way we make ourselves dumber by fetishizing certain types of intelligence over others. How do you mean? Let's see. How can I explain this to someone who literally watches 19 hours of TV a day? And we're back. Susan, you have the board. Tacit social understanding for 1600, please. Chances are your unhappy friend just wants this instead of this. What is for you to just listen instead of listing solutions? Yes. For 2000, please. The C word is best described in this manner. What is having different connotations to different people so you shouldn't just use it casually? Yes. Betty's bored now. Midwifery for 2,000, please. In human beings, this can often shorten the duration of labor before giving birth. What is exercise? Yes. 
Well, it's been a two-horse race here as we enter our final round. But remember, contestants, this last question is worth $175 million. The category is things that Arnold arbitrarily values. And the answer is, these are two things that Arnold... What are economics and sports cars? Woo! Man, you guys don't know anything. Yeah, whatever guys are doing is glorified by default. I got that memo. Oh, why aren't more women founding tech startups? Because I have better things to do, maybe? Why aren't more men not sending me threats of violence on Instagram? Direct messages, of course, so no one can see. Yeah. Fuck. I would just be mad all the time, knowing that so many people have to privately put up with all kinds of sinister shit. How do you deal with that? I don't know. It's not like it defines you, Ted. People don't want your fucking pity or for you to be some protector, man. They just want you to not be a piece of shit. They want you to not spontaneously start choking people during sex after a perfectly nice evening. And yes, that's a thing. Put that in your comedy routine. What's the deal with how literally anyone you date can suddenly turn out to be a sociopath? But how do you not just constantly walk on eggshells? Because you don't. Plus, I think a lot of times when the whole floor is eggshells, you really just stop giving a shit. Hey, new girl, how'd you lose your finger? Oh, my ex-husband pinned me to the kitchen table and cut it off with a pair of garden shears because I ordered the wrong kind of pizza for dinner. They couldn't even reattach it. Hey, that reminds me, do you want to hit up that new pizza place next door later? Totally. Fucking starving. You are who you are in spite of, not because of, you know? You think you'd be mad all the time because you haven't been seeing people's hidden strength either. Ah. Touché. Or they're hidden antidepressants, too, probably. How have you never been to a strip club, by the way? I don't know. Something about having to objectify people in person? But I know you love the ladies of a certain stature there, Mr. Feminism. Mr. Fucking giant boobs loving feminism? Somehow. Well, you don't know what it's like to be attracted to giant boobs. Ah, touché. Why are you not a feminist, by the way? I don't know. I'm not not a feminist. I just don't like being told what to do. If I want to get hammered in strip clubs, go home with whoever, and fucking spend the night getting turned into a sperm geode, then I don't need anyone telling me I'm a traitor for doing it. I fucking have enough problems. Yeah, and this might literally be mansplaining feminism, but the first rule of Feminism Club is that there's no singular definition. For me, it's not about telling people what to do. It's just about making sure that everyone has the freedom to choose what to do. That's just common sense, though, is it not? If that's even a thing anymore. Yeah, of course. And maybe the first two rules of Feminism Club should be don't talk about it because it leads to misunderstandings. But at the same time, I feel like if you're not in people's faces and it doesn't force the issue. One of the most progressive characters on TV was Elaine on Seinfeld, but nobody fucking noticed because the show wasn't called me and my male friends who I'm equal to. It's all well and good to be ahead of your time, but I think you can also bring people with you as opposed to waiting for them to catch up. You can talk about Feminism Club, Ted. Just make sure you talk to people first. Make sure you're not telling anyone how they feel. I don't even fucking know how I feel half the time. Talk to crazy bitches who like metal? Talk to bitches who play metal, where people will pull them aside and be like, wow, you're just as good as a guy. Also a thing. And then imagine how that would feel. Yeah. And then imagine if, on top of that, you have the temerity to not be white or straight or... Well, exactly. Pretty sure I see a lot of feminists who have just as narrow a definition of women as the people they're opposing. Well, a lot of us don't, Martha. Trust me. Honestly, dude, I'll always trust you. That's kind of my point here. I just always... I wonder what I can do, you know? How do I be a good ally? <sighs> Look, maybe it's just me, but I'm not trying to recruit allies. You don't need to buy into the whole thing where every dude thinks it's personally up to him to go forth and save everyone. You just need to listen and be the kind of person where people will tell you things to begin with. I don't ever want you to look at me differently. That's why I hesitate to talk about this shit and why there's stuff I might never tell you. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I don't want you to treat me like a victim and I don't want you to think you're a bad person. I just want you to realize that there's a lot that people don't talk about. So there's a lot you don't know. So your picture of what it's like to be a person is probably incomplete. And I know that's not what you'd want, even if the world you get isn't what you'd imagined. <laughs>